home today to celebrate your father's 100th birthday. Correct. And your father is? Edward Bai. Edward Bai. Edward Bai has a unique characteristic other than being 100 this coming Tuesday, and that is that he is a World War II veteran, correct? Correct. Tell us about that. Uh, well, uh, after uh, the Pearl Harbor attack, he went down and enlisted right away. Uh, first place he saw was the Coast Guard. He enlisted in the Coast Guard. They took him, and within a couple of days he was in Pearl Harbor. Within a couple of days he was in, in Pearl Harbor, and he saw the devastation there. He so said he was there place, right after the attack. He was there like two to three days after the attack. He said everything was still burning. Wow, wow, that's amazing. And then he served how many years in uh, the Coast Guard? He served four years in the Coast Guard. In the Pacific? Yes. Okay. Well, mostly in the Pacific. Uh, I think he did say something about being in the Atlantic at the very end, where he was on a ship where they were searching for U-boats in the Atlantic off the coast of the Got East it. Coast. Got it, because that was still ongoing, potentially yes. on the East Coast. And there were U-boats on our East Coast. Yes. As we know, in New Jersey. <laughs> now, your father was also, uh, also had a career after the Coast Guard. Correct. Talk a little bit about that. He moved around a little bit. Well, after, after the Coast Guard, uh, he got married to my mother, Jeanette, and they, they were married for 75 years. They were married for 75 years. And he got a job as a printer. He was a printer for 22 years. Okay. And after that, he, him and his, and his wife, they moved out to Colorado for, for a couple of years. And he became a school custodian out there. Yeah. Then after that, uh, the winters got to be a little too much for him. So he moved to Arizona and spent the rest of his... Wow, what a difference. Yeah, he spent the rest of his career in Arizona uh, as a school custodian. I was out there for 27 years, retired. Uh, then he moved back and he moved back in with us for a couple of years. Here. Yeah. 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 And then he's right also house. also lived in uh, Lombard for a couple yes. and Elmhurst. And now his residence is in another town of Benson. Correct. Okay. All right. Um, what's happening here today? Today we're celebrating his 100th birthday. All right. And what's going to happen out on the street in front of us here? Uh, well, we're going to have a parade, and if the police and the fire department didn't have an emergency, they were going to come. There is a veterans group, I'm not sure which one, that was going to come through, and there's going to be other people that are going to be coming through and saying, happy birthday. Well, uh, you, you certainly have a family to be very proud of. Uh, sorry for the loss of your mother a year ago. Thank you. Uh, and uh, the brother, uh, uh, I think you said his brother passed. Uh, yes, yeah, four so years ago. His name was? Stephen. Stephen. So we remember Stephen today and your mother celebrating your dad's 100th birthday coming up this week. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. All right.
Thank you, sir. Welcome home. Happy birthday. Thank you. Can I get a picture? Can I take a picture in your hand for our website? Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I get a picture of you guys? Hello, sir. Happy birthday. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Probably three other pictures we take are on our website. Perfect. So just so you guys know what's going to happen is we're going to play a song and then Donna's going to do her presentation. So we're going to have a couple different cameras taking our picture today. On behalf of Operation Welcome You Home, we want to say welcome home to our World War II U.S. Coast Guard veteran, Edward Byer. Let's give a round of applause. Let's give a yeah. round of applause. I'll bring it in. You just tell me where to set it up in the kitchen. I'll awesome. set everything up for you. I can help. I'll so. give 